So, Virgo, I feel like this week presents this very brand new opportunity or energy that for some is lifting you up, is helping you uh, overcome certain emotional disappointments or frustrations that you're dealing with. I feel like the brand new energy, you know, shows here as this can grand chance to make a difference, either Either this is something, whatever this new thing represents, is something that would um, make a big difference in the quality of your life and in a way that then you feel even about yourself, like your self-worth, your self-esteem, like uh, whatever this new thing would be reinforcing uh, the best of you, right, or the betterment of you. I feel like some of you, this is about leveling up, upgrade, upgrade of who you are, Virgo, and how you come across in the world, how you present yourself, how you communicate, how you deal with others, how you take care of situations. It's like being or becoming uh, someone, you know, that has such, um, has so much in it that it's, um, knowledgeable and strong and committed and at the same time kind and at the same time assertive it's like being um a very whole being i feel um it's kind of what what you're um walking into it's to it's to become whole by yourself or to become more whole and healed let's put it that way in your own um you know, um, it's like integrated inner and outer energies integrated as one and you operating with both subjective and objective realities in a very good way. Like managing, <laughs> but like creating this perfect bridge between one and the other um, that allows for a lot of, you know, a lot of abundance into your life. And I feel like this abundance is not... Um, for some of you, this abundance is not immediately talking about financial uh, prosperity. I feel like this abundance, first and foremost, uh, Virgo, it's about the um, right, right, and the happiness that whatever this concept of new life will bring to you. I do feel like others of you are still very linked to an emotional situation and during this week the challenge might be to um, find peace with the past, make amends with what was in the past that still has again that emotional detrimental effect. effect. It's like the memories of the past, of the love of the past or the losses of the past, the dreams of the past that you're still looking at with some sadness, some nostalgia, you will find a way to make it better. I feel some of you are kind of saying goodbye to the past or release, releasing what of the past does not serve you anymore or is taking too much of emotional space for now. For the present time and so um, keeping you from focusing on your priorities right now it's like saying goodbye to someone or to a pattern to a way of looking at situations uh, that is hard for you to turn your back to but at the same time it's like you can't have you can't give your all to something new until you drag, if you keep dragging this emotional, it's like an emotional burden to the present time, Virgo. And some of you, for others of you, this would be about choosing between your highest dreams, your highest purpose or calling of purpose, choosing between that or choosing between something that's more down to earth more of the earthly domain not so much about dreams or something that would have that big impact it's like choosing between two things it could be one thing that 
is more of the material world, another that is more of the spiritual dream world. Um, some of you would would or are to have choices as well about um, jobs or employments, like uh, either staying in a job that again is stable. That it gives to you, you know, the stability and the comforts to sustain your life, your material material life, or to take certain risks with your dreams to try something bigger that you see as a bigger as a bigger opportunity, but at the same time where there where there might be some financial unpredictability as a part of it. And juggling here between choices and decisions it also seems to be part of the week. Others of you are busy. You're juggling a lot. You're very busy with the things you have, with the things you have. But the message for you, Virgos, is also that you are being well. Um, it's like you're being well guided, taken. It's like you're taking. You'll be. You'll be. You're being taken care of. That's what I wanted to say. Spiritually speaking, there seems to be whatever you're doing or handling this week, you're being spiritually protected and actually guided to encounter and do and say and create the things you will be doing and creating and saying. And I do feel like it's tough for some of you to take the risks that some of you are being called to take. But at the same time, uh, there's a part of you that also feels excited with the calling. It's like, it's like the future calling you. But um, this excitement might be out of your element, like this level of excitement or risk taking. It might be just something you're not comfortable with or not used to do without, you know, a backup plan or a solid structure or foundation. It's a completely new, different thing here coming up. And it might put things spinning, moving faster and wilder than what you were anticipating. And you would be called to adapt to that spin, to that movement. Some of you might be unexpectedly moving. Or, um, you know, when we go into a new situation, like we fall in love and we get into a commitment very fast. Or um, we start, we leave one job and the, the, day, the day after we already are in another one. And it has nothing to do with the previous. So those type of experiences, like... Things will be picking up this week quite a lot, and it feels like whatever the the, the, the the future indication here for you that's being presented is one where you'll be, you know, in need to be moving faster and adapting fast to what will be presented to you. Some of you will find what this is about through communication. It's like either you're going to um, be informed of something that you know, um, opens your window of, of opportunity for you to take uh, that as an advantage. If this has to do, for example, with work or promoting something of your own that you wish to promote or someone offering you something, someone telling you something that just clicks here. It clicks and it makes you see the bigger picture or the way out of a situation. And it's like the way out of a situation into a way in to another. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, just contact me via email that I have um, put down in the description box below. Um, as usual, for the month of April, I have a special tarot offer available at the sales price. And if you would like to know more details about that or any other of my tarot services, just email me once again.